five weather with meteorologist Matt Holliner. Welcome back. Nice and quiet in the state of Texas. Officially, the rain has left the area. It's going to be a mess in the southeast today. A severe weather threat, flooding, but high pressure continuing to build in across the state of Texas. Now notice, actually, there was a second cold front that came through last night. A lot of people were complaining yesterday. They said, you said a cold front was coming. It was warm. <laughs> patience, patience. We had another cold front come through last night, and that's why it's still partly cloudy right now. But notice what's to our north. Not much cloud cover at all. So the cloud cover is going to thin throughout the day. Eventually, we're going to become mostly sunny this afternoon. So the cloudiest part of the day is this morning, and it's really partly cloudy in most locations. Again, what the first front yesterday did was drop the humidity. I mean, it was bone dry. Dew points were in the 30s yesterday afternoon. They've actually come up a little bit, even though a second cold front came through. It actually brought slightly more humidity with it, which is odd, but cooler temperatures. That's why it's in the 50s this morning. But don't worry, low humidity today. Dew points in the 40s, dry air, but not too dry. And we like low humidity. The question is, how long is the low humidity going to stick around? Will it stick around through the weekend? Well, let's track it through you. <laughs> Notice that today and tomorrow, low humidity. Dew points are going to be in the 40s. Saturday and Sunday, dew points are going to be in the 50s. Now, notice we, we're talking upper 50s on Sunday, but it's not going to get into those dew points in the 60s, the muggy, humid, not until Monday and Tuesday. And Monday, there's a small chance of rain. Usually, when we have dew points in the 50s and 40s, there's not going to be any rain, and that's the case. It's going to stay dry through the weekend. It's going to be feeling good through the weekend because the humidity is where we want it to be in the comfortable zone, but it will get muggy again. It looks like it could stay muggy for a while next week. So let's enjoy the low humidity while it's here. And with the low humidity, some cooler temperatures. Now a chilly start day, light jackets will be needed. Maybe even around 9, 11 a.m. you'll still be wearing a light jacket, but 1, 3, 5 o'clock this afternoon, low 70s, low humidity. Now breezy throughout the day. It's already breezy this morning, so the upper 50s really feel like the mid 50s early this morning. So a touch of a wind chill factor throughout the day, but not windy like yesterday. Gusts around 25 miles per hour, partly to mostly sunny skies throughout the day. Now, we are not under a red flag warning today because it's not as windy as it was yesterday, but it's still breezy. The humidity is still low and the ground so dry. The drought is bad and it's unfortunately going to get worse. So for one more day, please no outdoor burning. Do me a favor. We don't want any brush fires to start and spread. They could still do that day. It's not as dangerous as yesterday, but the conditions are still there. We do have an elevated risk of brush fires today. It's better than yesterday, but the conditions are still there now. Tonight, light winds, and we're going to have light winds for a couple days, so the fire risk really dies down uh, tonight. Again, it all has to do with our winds. It's going to be chilly tonight. Lows around 51, clear to mostly clear skies, but no wind chill factor. It's really going to feel like 51. How long will the weather stay nice? I think through the weekend, highs around 80 on Sunday, but still comfortable humidity. A 20% chance of showers on Monday, and that is our only chance of rain. Back to dry weather Tuesday and Wednesday, but it's going to feel muggy, and highs are going to be in the mid 80s on your first one five AccuWeather forecast.